In this video, we'll be graphing a secant function. We're asked to graph y equal 3 secant 2x. Now let's first consider the graph of y equal 3 cosine 2x. Remember that secant is the reciprocal of cosine. So our cosine function has an amplitude of 3. And the B value back here indicates that the period is 2 pi over b, which is 2. So my period for my 3 cosine 2x is pi. Now if we divide this by 4 to represent our four quadrants, we take pi divided by 4. And um, our starting point, there is no phase shift back here. So my starting point is 0. So I have 0 and then pi over 4. And then 2 pi over 4. And then 3 pi over 4. And then 4 pi over 4, which is just pi. Let me go ahead and label to the left as well. So my um, cosine curve at x equals 0 will be at its maximum. So my point up here is on my y equal 3 cosine curve. And then it hits the axis at pi over 4. It's a min max at pi over 2. And then going left, I hit my axis here, my minimum, my axis, and my max. So this is my uh, cosine curve. And I'm going to go ahead and draw it with a dotted line and so that you can see it better. Um, you don't have to because basically for our secant curve, we only need the uh, 1 and negative 1 points and uh, where it crosses the axis to get our asymptotes. But this is our cosine curve. Now I want to draw our secant curve. And it's the reciprocal of this orange one. So everywhere where I have a zero, I'm going to have an asymptote. And then everywhere where my cosine curve hits a max, my secant is also going to hit that point for a min, max, min, max. And this inside here is going to be all just white space, just going to be blank for my secant curve. So for this curve, here.
goes up and gets closer and closer to the asymptote, but never crosses. So my green curve here is my y equal 3 secant 2x.